and Nebraska win more than nine games this season. So the over-unders in Vegas came out just a few days ago, and the Husker over-under is sitting at seven and a half. Seven and a half, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a tough call for me to make. Yeah. If any, if anything, if I let my um, my lean be uh, communicated right now, uh, I don't think anybody in this chat's going to be too happy with me. So I, I'm, I tend to lean on the low side there, but I, I think that's about right where I would want to stay away from it. Yeah, I mean Vegas knows what they're doing, right? That's how. Yep. Uh, that's how they make usually. Money. Yeah, yeah. So, I think. I mean, when you bring that question up, more in my mind is that uh, it's kind of an audition for Scott Frost. Um, you know, we've been saying all along. I, I know we. You know, we get asked this question. I think every week. I mean, how many weeks have we, we've been doing this show? Um, but uh, there it is again. Yeah, Billy. Exactly. Um, so. What I'm trying to say is that, uh, you know, we've been saying all along that uh, making a bowl game is is kind of what your target is. Um, but I've kind of changed my attitude on that, thinking that maybe this is just make or break year for Scott Frost in this program. It's either going to be go big this year or you're going to go – have the same disappointing mm. type of a season that you've been seeing all along. And then, you know, maybe there's, you know, it's forced to have a coaching change, but um, I think, you know, Nebraska is poised to go big this year is, is kind of my thinking right now. And I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid, please. No, don't anybody start uh, talking about that. But uh, when I look at the schedule, I think they're definitely, I, Obviously, I think they're going to make a bowl game, but um, yeah, my point of view has kind of changed. It's going to be go big or, or, or go home, basically, this year. So I'm kind of leaning on, on on the other side of it right now and thinking that it might be a pretty decent year and it might be an eight or nine win season, uh, you know. And so maybe bet uh, accordingly, but don't. Uh, Blame me for uh, your losses. <laughs> well, there's no question that they've traded a tougher schedule in for an easier one. They've lost Ohio State and Michigan State and replaced Ohio State and Michigan State with Rutgers and Indi mm, let me think through. Indiana and yeah, yeah Rutgers. Yeah. Well, they yeah. had Rutgers last year too. Hey! Sorry. So they had last year, they had Michigan, Michigan State. They didn't play Rutgers last year, did they? They didn't play Rutgers. Oh, no. Uh, no year that was the year Sorry. before. Yeah, I was thinking of the last game. Of the, the uh, year. No, yeah. they had um, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State. They're trading Ohio State and Michigan State for Rutgers and Indiana. And they've got Oklahoma at home, not on the road. And that doesn't mean they're going to win against Oklahoma, but they've got a much better chance, you would think, at home. And I think they've upgraded considerably more than anybody in the Big Ten through the transfer portal. I mean, I mean yeah, big time they have. And that makes me laugh. I'm sorry to kind of joke about that, but I was actually listening to a, a – it was yesterday I was listening to a, a local radio station and they were talking to a, 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 a guy from the athletic that, that's from Iowa that, you know, covers Iowa. And they've only gotten one guy in, in the transfer portal at Iowa. They've lost six. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think Nebraska has definitely, you know, done a ton more work than anybody else out there in the big 10. Um but they were also in that position where they, they needed to do that. Yeah, Iowa's a conservative program, and it suits them yeah. well. And they they just uh, would rather recruit out of the high school ranks and develop them. And uh, we'll see how that works for them going forward. 
because obviously this is a new day and age and uh, new strategies and uh, it's a bit of a free agency market. So we'll see if I was able to keep up with that. Yeah. But uh, at this point, they're they're just they. It wasn't that they missed out on guys; they just didn't go after guys. They held yeah, that, exactly that they didn't. That's not the uh, the way they kind of do things. And hey, you know what works for them works for them, I guess. 